You gotta know a day. Today we're going to talk about the stern Gerlach experiment, which really was the first time something called spin was shown. They didn't call it spin. That didn't come to much later. Uh, but they realized it was quantized angular momentum, um, which I'll explain a whole lot later. So Otto Stern, uh, Walter Gerlach, they actually both knew Niels Bohr, uh, who's a famous physicist. And um, take special note of this right here. So in their experiment, what they did is they wanted to figure out um, what would happen uh, if you sent silver through uh, an inhomogeneous an inhomogeneous magnetic field. Uh, and what they expected to happen with classical physics, if you send a uh, magnet in any orientation, it should have just made this distribution here. Some would be high, some would be low, you know, some would be more attracted to the north, some would be more attracted to the uh, south, and they'd be all in between. But what actually happened is that some went towards the north side, some went towards the south side, and that was it. They only went to these two areas. Now, it was said that this was a whole lot easier to see because of actually the cheap cigars that uh, were in the experiment area. The cigarette or the cigar smoke uh, sometimes helps uh, science in terms of it allowed them to see their uh, um, the results better. And this is an early clue when they talk about the stern Gerlach experiment. What they discovered is something called spin. The only way that you could get uh, the pattern they saw, where they only went in one of two areas, is if the electrons are actually spinning uh, and they can only spin in two different directions. That's how they got the two spaces. Um, and when um, electrons spin, they generate little magnetic fields. Um, this is this is why it went one went up towards the north, one went up towards the south because they had these little electricity, magnetic fields. Um, so I talked about quantized angular momentum. Well, what the heck does that mean? Well, angular momentum is just, you could think of a figure skater spinning around. It's just spinning mass in motion. So these electrons were spinning, um, so they had angular momentum. And it's quantized because it can only be two discrete values. If it's quantized, uh, that just means it's very specific values as it could be instead of it can it's all the possible values it could only be one of two possible values or more values you know people are talking about quantum physics they're just talking about specific values so quantized means uh, it could be positive one half called the spin up or negative one half called the spin down uh, version of spin and this process also was used to make the first hydrogen maser. You may be thinking, maser, that sounds kind of familiar. Well, it's kind of like a laser. Remember, that's L-A-S-E-R, except for uh, with a maser, instead of making one frequency of uh, uh, one wavelength of visible light like a laser is, it makes microwave light way, way, way uh, down here lower energy microwave. And they're actually used in uh, to be really specific. Um, it's used in clocks sometimes because they make very, very specific frequencies. So that was the stern gerlach experiment. It discovered spin, um, something that is you know talked about. And spin is usually the giveaway clue for the stern gerlach experiment. 